All right, there we go. We can, I guess we can, we can get started. All right, first of all, I'd like to say hi to everybody. Uh, apparently, uh, people have started getting the stream on notice, so as soon as it start, there's a bunch of people always saying hi. So, hello to everybody. Like I just said in the uh, chat, today's stream, I want it to be basically a new scene. I want to put the bar on hold a bit because we basically got the main uh, modeling phase out of the way. So now it would be more or less playing around with uh, the textures and lighting and stuff like that. And uh, since I did something on my computer, I installed something new. I'm not sure how well that thing is going to go, so I'm going to have to do some testing. And I don't want to test stuff on uh, live or on stream so i want to get down to make a new scene today but one of the things the uh one of the things that i i want to i want to show you is uh this week we're going to have some tutorials upcoming and some of them will cover up more or less uh well let me show you it's gonna be basically a first look at V-Ray next. So we're gonna see how this thing works. We're gonna go and take some prodding, have some fun with that. And once I know how everything uh, works or what they changed in V-Ray next opposed to the V-Ray 3 point something, then I can start playing around with uh, the old scene and start to getting it ready for rendering. So today I want to review an older idea and that was the original idea for the stream and when i started off the uh, stream it basically started off as a container house 
So we went in the first video, we got in, we like saw a bunch of container houses, but somehow somewhere down the road, that thing kind of got deformed into the bar that we uh, currently have. But here's the thing, there was a second uh, idea when we were starting, and that was the A-frame house. An A-frame house is basically this thing. So these are uh, more houses you would see in a mountain or um, a resort some, of some sort. So they can, well, not this one, this is not an A-frame. All right, so this one, as you can see, they are an interesting bunch of houses, dif uh, different, uh, type of architecture and all in all I actually do like this mainly for two things the first one would be that modeling this would probably not take us uh, 20 different sessions like we had with the bar so we can create something and as you can see these guys come in variety of uh, different looks like we can have like uh, things coming out of the roof like uh, domes we can have pretty much anything we want on it and it can be very very interesting to create and the great thing about something like this is that i can go ahead and actually uh, create an uh, environment for it as well so when we were rendering we have some environment like i like this a lot so this would be nice and we can put some stones we can put some pretty much anything so like i said today I want to go ahead and start on something. So it's either gonna be a A-pillar house like this one, or what we can do is we can choose something that you guys are gonna like, or something that you guys are gonna give me an idea for. So I'm open up to any sorts of ideas that you guys must have. Come on, drop them on me. What would you like us to create in our uh, streams? Come on, I'm gonna give you, what is it? I'm gonna give you five minutes. So drop all of your comments in here and let's see what happens. See, Sarah already said that she, uh, she loves the idea. So if you guys like this idea, go ahead. Now is your time uh, to be vocal about it. If you have any other ideas, do leave them uh, in here. Oh, hell, hell, if you're even watching this. Oh yeah, Sarah, if you can find a blueprint, we can start from there. There, I'm leaving it up to you. You are my resident Pinterest uh, uh, person. I like it when I can start off from a blueprint because I don't have to like guesstimate on the heights and stuff. So if you can find a blueprint, we can go on from there. This is a call out for everybody that's watching. Try and go on Google. Go on pretty much anywhere you want on Pinterest or if you have some images on things that you would like to see now is the time drop them in here or actually uh, come to think of it YouTube chat does not allow links I think so uh, we are going to be using the discord channel to uh, share any links so uh, come on on discord <clears throat> jump in here leave any uh, comments that you have in here and we're gonna start from something oh and the great thing about this idea is that if uh, since it's a smaller scene it's gonna be easier to create the outline uh, geometry for it so the walls and all that uh, stuff is gonna be easier to create which will allow us to focus more on interior and creating some uh, assets for the interior so, yeah. Come on, three more minutes. Well, while you guys are gonna be like looking for stuff, I'm gonna go and quickly take a very, very small break and I will be back in two minutes.
All right, let's see what you guys found. All right, what is this? The first hour of the hallway. That's a nice environment. Dude, what the hell? This. I'm trying to focus on modeling the house, not the entire environment. This is an open environment, and this can actually easily be made with some PhotoScan assets, some water. Mm, not bad, not bad. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Okay. Oh, what do you know? Fabulous cabin plans. Ooh. No, 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 no. no. See, this, this. <laughs> this is a, a basically a mix between a shipping container and a A-frame house. Which, if I go with something like this, I already have the containers, so I can skip that whole thing. But no, no, no. I actually do like this. I like the fact that it has some water uh, up front, some rocky uh, environment. The trees are going to be easy to scatter around, so nothing too hard. So this is not a bad choice. I'm actually gonna save this one for future reference, but we're not creating this now though. But I, since I already have this, this would be a really fast thing, the A pillar. Nah, not bad, not bad. Nice block, you have my like for this one. What is this? Uh, A45, A frame, tiny home. What the hell is this? Whoa, dude. Okay, this is wicked. But do they have like any uh, information as to how this thing was made? Oh man, wow. Okay. Holy crap. Uh, I like this idea. But where, do, where, where the hell do I find some uh, building plans for this thing? All right, before I go in, just let me check what else. Oh. What the hell is this? This looks like a Toblerone chocolate bar. Just white. Hey, everybody. Sorry uh, I haven't been watching the chat. Hey, Christian. Lucid Tutorials. Nice blog. Hey, Shinoda, what up, man? Uh, just an update for everybody that just uh, joined me. Uh, today's uh, stream is gonna be, we're basically gonna start a new uh, scene. So at the moment we are in the process of uh, basically defining what we will be creating in the upcoming stream. So yeah, uh, what we have at the moment as an idea is to start what initially we wanted to create from the get-go and that was the a-frame house and now we are just like looking at different uh, uh, ideas and if you have any ideas just drop it over at the streaming related in the uh, discord channel and from here we can just go on and try to find something the thing is right like uh, let me just see where did I put that thing. It's called the A A frame. A frame. All right. So this here is the blueprint for. Uh, yeah, this is the second floor, first floor. Not really anything too much for size, but. It doesn't really matter. Oh, snap. It does have sizes just in feet. I hate feet. All right. So we have this uh, thing. So we can create uh, this. But I would, rather, I would rather check out more ideas before we just like get on to one. And see what we start from there. Uh, where is my okay Sarah you are my resident Pinterest expert did you find something else see the thing is that I think that this image that uh, is here it's pretty much something like this oh <laughs> 
Chinona, if I get on making a car modeling tutorial, that's gonna be definitely uh, actual tutorial and not as a live stream. Because to anybody who has ever uh, modeled a car, they will tell you right away that it can be a very annoying experience, especially when you have some weird angles on certain cars. And then you have to like screw around with the geometry and then try to make everything not uh, basically not being pinched anywhere and me yeah just walking through different things house. oh yeah and take into account we're trying to make something that's gonna be cozy we're not trying to make a mansion uh, like th this thing this is not an a-frame house this is a full-fledged house I don't, I don't want to make something like this or something like this i just want to make it something that's going to be small something that's going to be cozy see even like this this is an okay size i guess it has a living uh, in, uh environment in here we can have a second floor up there nice lighting wooden accents so this this can be fun oh uh and you know the what car did you have in mind? I'm just curious. Ooh, what is this? No, this looks like a museum. No, this is just a house. I'm on the A frame house. All right, okay. I'm gonna put this thing to this side. All right, and I'm going to see some of the images that I already have. So something like this would fit well, but it's just like way too tall. One, two, three. All right, so what about this blueprint? Do we go ahead and create this? What do you guys think? Do you want to create something like this? Why not? All right, I guess this is what we're, we're doing. So, Marcus Reed. Oh, wait a second, somebody dropped some new stuff. Yeah, this is more like a, what I had in mind. And I think that the one that we were creating is gonna be similar to this thing. It just is gonna be off the ground a bit. But, all right, let's go ahead and create this thing. So, first things first, Oh, dude, I just, uh, <laughs> I told everybody uh, before you joined, so the bar at the moment is on hold for for a really, really short time. But this is a new project. This should be a, a shorter one. And once I just have enough time to like play around and see what they changed with uh, v -Ray Next, I will uh, continue on with the bar. That's all right, first thing we need to go into Photoshop, open up this thing, and let's start out with a simple 2 by 2 2 by 2 go in here, we want to have this entire first floor, like that. And over here, 
Yeah, great. I don't have to scale anything, which means this is going to be the right size. All right, let's clean up this thing from the things that we don't actually need. That. to have a blue color for the background. No. Fifteen's too much. Thirty's gonna be five. So make this thing in the middle, snap it there. Snap one more in the middle. Okay. How do you mean you can create a new one? Sarah, what do you mean you can create a new floor plan if I want? You got me confused a bit. I think she got this thing from uh, Pinterest and actually I checked out on uh, uh, Google and don't worry we can just create this thing from what we have in here so it's fine it's not going to be an issue just get this thing to be the right size I can add the reference images so you guys don't have to uh, start from scratch. That's not a problem. But I have to prepare them. And it's always more fun to start off from a blueprint uh, rather than an uh, AutoCAD. Because when it's CAD, it's always so easy. So make this thing focus so I can see what the this thing is. project. The old, huh, really should have placed a notice for the old one. The old one will be on a pause for a week, I guess, or maybe even two weeks. And by then, I expect that we might even finish this project. So I guess this thing is a different height for 
that. It doesn't matter. As long as the base is on this. And it's not. Okay. We're gonna just do the logical thing and just stretch this guy a tiny bit. So we're gonna do just fine. Right there. There you go. And of course, this is going to work. Because now everything is going to be stretched and it's going to shit. Ah. Alright, let's add in two more. So this one right there. This one right here. here. So let's see if at least the width is correct. Well, the width is fine. So, it might be that the only thing that's different is the patio height. So, I guess that's not going to be too much of a problem, as long as the, yeah, the top is fine, so we can work with this. That's okay. So, we have the front, the back, and we have the base for this thing. Cool. Alright, so let me save this thing up. This blueprints. Which ideas, a frame house. Work. Alright, so now I just want to save it up as this is going to be the top view. Okay, so the front has the balcony, the, the back side has no balcony. Okay, so this is the front. <clears throat> Let's say that's front. And With this thing created, do we have enough? Well, oh, actually, I do have one more for the second floor. So I'm going to actually grab that one as well. This, will be high. this is actually just the division for what sort of walls we want inside. And since we're going to have some freedom for that thing, I think we're going to need this thing. Because we're gonna go in and manually put in where we want to have the walls. So this is gonna actually be skipped. I'm gonna create that one. Alright. This for now. Okay. Alright. So let's let's start it off really simple. So just with planes. I wanna go with 200, 300, just so we get it uh, on the right uh, size for the blueprints that we created. Since we created them on a 2000 by 2000 by 2000 pixels, we're not going to get any stretching. But uh, then, oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Wrong one. But then we're going to have to actually deal with the actual size for this thing. Uh, you know what, Calvus, since this is going to be actually a pretty simple scene, all right, I'm going to say, I'm going to just say before I start, 
I do I do apologize to the god of random uh, to the gods of random uh, choices that I just said this is going to be easy. I did not mean to offend anybody, but uh, it's not supposed to be anything too complicated. So we might actually do end up uh, getting this thing into a game engine, because I don't think it's going to be too hard. Plus, if I take it into a game engine, creating the uh, environment is going to be a hell of a lot easier because we can just sculpt inside, we can uh, paint in uh, materials and stuff like that, so it's not going to be that hard. Alright, so first let me go in uh, and drop in the top viewport and the fuse. Put it up there. Okay, that's fine. All this thing, top view. No, 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 Sarah, I, w I was not, uh, like, I didn't think that anybody would be offended from the viewers. I just thought that some of the gods of randomness would be uh, offended. So I guess the, this, the side view is just going to be uh, pillars. There's no windows or anything on that view. Which does not make me like this idea, but since we're not really uh, heart stricken on this thing, what I can do later on is go in and add something like this. Because I really do not like just having a slope there. I like to have some openings as well. So we might actually modify this thing to have something like this as well. Alright, so let's create one more. And okay. Use that there. Use that in there. And now take a look just to make sure that once we see from this side this is going to be the front side Object and go back face call. Alright, so that means this is the right position. This thing comes over here and again back face call.
Here, let's do it rotates 180, so I can see it from here. So the front is okay. Let's do it down a bit. Like that. Go up front. All right. Once we have this, just right click and look at object properties. Backface call is already actually okay. Show frozen and break off trees. Okay, and we can no longer select those guys, but we can see them in our scene. In here, they will not be visible because there's no side view. All right, I guess we can start from somewhere. Right, we're going to save this thing and we can start modeling this stuff. And we have kickoff. Let's start off and start trying to like figure out what the hell we're making now. Oh, haha, <laughs> ha. Uh, at the moment, this thing is tiny. So let's see how do we get this thing to be in scale. The only thing that I do have is this uh, size in here. So before I do anything else, I just make sure that we have this thing in size. So it's 36 feet, 40, 44 feet. So this entire pillar from here to here, or this entire uh, bank is 44 feet, which in my mind means nothing because nobody likes to use feet for measurements. And these two meters. It's gonna be 44, it's 13.41 meters. So, all right, so let's do it like this. A simple box. And that thing is gonna be This thing to be this big. So one, three, four, one, point one centimeters. All right, I'll put it for this and move it to the side. Unfreeze all. Get these guys selected and just manually scale it upwards. Uh, there is another way that we can do this. But I'm just going to bother with that. Uh, there is a way you can actually go in and mathematically uh, do the calculations and get this thing to be the right size. But in our case, since we are not really, uh, really, really interested in getting this thing to be the same exact size in real world scale, we can just go ahead and approximate the size to it. So. There's fine. I just need to make it a tiny bit smaller, so. Alright, so that's fine there. Yeah, that's fine. 
find and that's fine. So more or less now we have our scene to be the, uh, the right size for this blueprint. Now let's get this thing moved up to zero, 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 and then zero, zero, zero. Ah. Now it should work correctly. We just save. Uh, dude, uh, the last project, like I already said three times, will continue in, in either probably next week or the week after next week. I installed V-Ray Next on my side, so I didn't want to like start uh, testing out stuff while being live. So that is why we're starting to, with the modeling on this project. But we will continue the bar. The bar has not been left unattended. Hell, I, I just I, I just named it. I'm not gonna abandon it. So freeze this thing and go okay. Let's really quickly just check the size box um, in there and poly to be there and there and the size is Okay, we, this is gonna be the house size. It's gonna be fine. Uh, the size of the bar. Uh, let me see. I think that I remember it um, from last week. Uh, it was called Thirsty Sailors. Yes. That is. Although we can change that later on. I just need to have something. All right, so once we have this, this is actually okay. Everything is in uh, size, so we can start with this thing. I do like to have, like every time I'm modeling something, I like to have some sort of a reference image that I can like look at. In this case, this might actually work for me. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a uh, model for house, this is not an actual house, but it gives us a nice idea as to how these things are constructed or what to expect from uh, the construction of this thing. So we have these uh, beams that are going across and we have those uh, flats for the top. So let's start off with something like that. First thing is that I can see that all of these places here are the actual support beams. So they start from there, which is nice. This can actually tell me exactly how thick the beams should be. So let's start off with a simple box. So start from there. And now the top here. That's fine. Let's move it all the way down to the top. Around. Poly and this thing is okay. Uh, one of the things I also do like to do is whenever I'm uh, modeling stuff, I like to have my ground on the uh, to be on the zero zero zero. So this time, uh, this time around, it's like 300 uh, centimeters down. So I'm gonna go and unfreeze just the front and the back. And move them on here. Ah, 
Oh, actually, you know what? That's a pretty good idea. I'm gonna make a playlist for the bar, and everything that I make for uh, this stream will be in a separate list. How does that sound? that the top here is actually cut off. What happens is we just go in there with the slice plane. Even had a lining there. That slice, and on the slice plane, collect everything that's out of there and delete. Bob's your uncle. You got this thing done. So I'm gonna cap this. Actually, want to keep all of these as separate entities. Go and shift drag this thing. And how many do we need? Let's go with 10. Then we're gonna okay. have it before I do this, though. Okay, selection, so I don't select nothing. Before I do that, I'm gonna do exactly what I did. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do exactly what I told everybody to do, and that is first of all, always keep your scene well organized and in this case I'm going to unfreeze all select my blueprints and put them in their own layer so create a blueprint really blueprint blueprint going to be called the top BP. It's going to be the front and the blueprint and the back blueprint. All right. So I can select everything in here now and freeze. There you go. Now we can select them. Second thing, name everything we create. I don't want to have box number zero there one and go from there. So beam a one. And before we go on, I actually know what we go on with this. Make everything an instance so everything that I change in one will transfer down to everything else. So go with 10 versions. Holy, not, I did not expect to be 10 versions here, but all right. I thought we were gonna need less of them, so I was gonna have to like delete stuff, but okay. I guess there are 10 of these guys on one side and 10 of the other on the other side. All right, let's go in here and add in a chamfer for this thing because we don't really don't want to have this thing to be with so sharp edges. Chamfer can be like 0 0.5 or even one centimeter here would be enough because these are like big beams and 0 0.5 for the tension is okay. In this case, though, I could make them all unique. 
which is uh, counterproductive for what I just did, but bear with me. Select all of them and attach them together as one beam. And then what we want to do is we want to get this thing to mirror the X as a copy. Move it over on this side. Make them meet in the middle. Like so. And just lower it. Really. Okay, let's just do it the other way around then, without having to manually do all of this stuff. Just in there, in the top of your port. In there should be the correct size. And now when we hit mirror, it should give us a perfect copy of the other side. All right, cool. Hey, Hussein. That's fine. Okay, so we have the framework for this thing. Let's go ahead and just drop in the rest of the detail. And for this side, it's actually not that much to do. Uh, okay, so let's draw in where we're going to have the walls. So that's going to be one plane that's going to go from there all the way up. Damn it. Now, this is not going to be the wall, this is going to be the base for this. So, there is fine. It's okay. There. Zoom in up here in the porch. Get this thing upwards to about right here. Oh, alright, so here is. Because from what I can see, this thing is actually elevated from the ground. And at the front, there is some stairs, like right here. So, and this side has some stairs as well. So let's continue the porch to the back side as well. Well, this porch is a tiny bit inset inwards, but for now, just let's put all the side. Let's get the thing done. Fine. This is fine. All right. Okay. We can have some fun with this. <sighs> All right. Call this uh, floor. And since I know that there's going to be another. Clicking uh, right upwards. Second floor. Or hey everybody. Alright. Uh Matt, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean showcasing projects I've worked on? So this thing goes in the back. Do 
if you're asking me if uh, oh yeah <laughs> uh, no I have I haven't made any videos that are showcasing any of my work that I've done for clients because like 90% of the stuff that I've done I've done uh, behind an NDA so there is no way I can show that thing to anybody without having uh, without being liable to get sued and I really don't like getting sued so no all right, so we have this thing is okay. Let's check the back side. We have the shell. The shell should give me the thickness. All right, so 30 centimeters straight out forward. That's fine. Shell, thirty centimeters on the other side. Oh yeah, that's gonna work just fine. And I just need to make sure that this thing is not protruding like this at the moment. So, mush it in. So, all right, cool. <clears throat> all right, so we have the frame for this house. Now let's go ahead and, oh, interesting. So there is actually cross beams going across holding the second floor. This is actually a nice thing to know. Uh, all right. Uh, here is another thing that I would like your uh, help uh, from everybody that's in here. Try and find some interior uh, uh, images for A-frame houses. Just so I don't have to like spend uh, spend more time like looking for stuff. You guys go ahead and find something that you like. Something that will. Uh, ideally showcase how the interior is uh, is made or what they uh, have in the interior i'm gonna leave the discord uh server up not up but i'm just gonna leave it uh, open on the other side so whatever you guys drop in drop it into the streaming related channel and i will check it out i think that uh it was here on Pinterest, that I think they had some, yeah, a cabin. Yeah, then... Interior. Yeah. See, this is what I had in mind. Uh, you guys find something that you like. It's gonna be something similar to this. Like what this thing here is telling me, like this image, like as you can see, all of these uh, beams that we just created, they can be used as a frame for windows. And also I can see that they can be used to actually add in uh, additional support beams. So we can create something like that. Even, even this, this is all good stuff. This is information that's really, really helpful. So I'll leave it up to you guys. You tell me what you like, and we'll go from there. But, yeah, this is good stuff. Oh, wait a second. I actually like this idea. They actually have uh, windows on the top of the pillar. Nice. Cool. We'll leave this thing open on my side. Okay, uh, let me just quickly check the base for this thing. And let's, every, let's add everything to its own uh, layer. So create a new layer. All those big support beams. Beams. Uh, 
how to support things and create a new layer for us. So I see this thing. You see this thing? A line of balcony above. This means that uh, the second floor, which is right, this line, does not extend all the way out, but instead it gets to about here. So over here, this is um, there is no second floor. So that's nice. Oh, I can work with this. Where are the stairs then? Oh yeah, upstairs, storage shelves up and down. So it's down here. Do we have any blueprints on the second floor of the stairs? I see balcony, fine. Upper part of the living room, like yeah, see, right here. Here's the stairs, so there shouldn't be any problem for this thing. Cool. Fixed glass with that balcony, this is cool. No issues. Okay, good thing to see that. Alright then, so let's add in the elephant in the room, which is in this case the roof. I kind of think of this is not gonna be a really long stream. Because this house really does look like it doesn't have that much to model on. We'll see. Okay, open up this thing, open up the support beams again. Alright. And just click and create a plane. go in at a poly and snap this thing on the top. We just want to have a cover for this thing. Like so. That's okay. And like always, just save a second version in case something goes terribly wrong. I see Sarah is doing her most amazing uh, work to get us some reference. See that we can get something like this as well. Uh, we started off with uh, this blueprint that we we're following, but this is, this can actually be just so we get an idea about the size of this place. When we are inside, we can choose whatever the hell we want for. Uh, for any sort of uh, style for the house. So let's open up. Just quickly check something. All right, so yeah. Uh, so from what I'm seeing, that the majority of these are with uh, tiles, so we can create a bunch of tiles like these, or we can just use planks like here. Uh, creating tiles, I don't have an access to what was it called? The I2 rail clone. They had an amazing. Uh, tool for that thing, but my license is no longer valid, so I don't have it. So instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into the modifier and go with uh, uh, the four. Four, there we go. 
and the floor generator is going to give me something similar to what I need, but instead, I mean this thing, I'm gonna go and make this, so it's uh, 5,000, let's uh, make sure that there's no in-betweens, and the maximum width, these guys should be like uh, 30 centimeters, and the spread in here should be It should be very, very small. This is the option. Was it? That was. Where was it? Which spread was it? these controls the spread but whatever let's just find rotation rotation scale direction seed I was just moving it in the sheets of the container no there's no need to use the sheets of that thing Oh, oh snap. This is an interesting entrance. Just so everybody knows what I'm talking about, it's this thing. You know what? I think you might be on to something here. I actually do like this idea. So open up the link, save this image. And we might actually use this thing as well. Kudos to you, Sarah. Kudos to you. So, I really, really do like this idea. side we need one more on the other side but before I actually start um, adding in all of these guys we might want to uh, go ahead and recheck and add this thing as a final step because uh, if I put in any holes in this thing like just go ahead and delete that thing if we put in any holes for windows I want to have those holes uh, present when I actually create that thing. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And again, do only put it up there. Make one more mirror on the X as a copy. One, copy, and move my no two. All right, cool. We can work with this. underneath here as uh, lifted off the ground and if this thing is lifted off the ground there's probably a bunch of uh, beams going across it 
or across from there to there and then into the ground. So let's add in those beams as well. So for that I'm just going to take one of these guys. Put it there. Uh, come on to object. Or not, fine. We're just gonna go ahead and do the box thing. It's 20. So let's go. 20, but it doesn't matter. The 20. I think it's okay. And Polly, uh, let's quickly get some of this stuff out of the way. Support beams, hide the force. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be 20 then. Uh, let's see then what it is going to be. Is it 16? Yeah, 15. All right, 15 centimeters. 15, and now let's go ahead and put them in the right positions under and here. Hey to everybody. Like I always say on each stream, I do apologize if I don't see your uh, hello when you like uh, jump into the stream. It's nothing personal, it's just I'm trying to not screw up, which I generally usually do, but that's a different thing. And so let's do this thing. And now let's add in some cuts. Slice plane, where is my slice plane? It's different. Now one slice in there. Slice. Turn that thing off, turn that thing off. Select that cap, select this one cap. Okay, and we have a chamfer in here, so I'm going to copy it from there, put it in here, paste it down. Go. All right, I had it for this thing. It's gonna be fine like that, I guess. Uh, let, me turn, uh, let me just check and see my floors. Must I put that thing on? Yeah, right. That's okay. Touching. Oh my god. It's okay. It's right. It's fine there as well. Ah, uh, the song thing is uh, all YouTube. I had a list of songs I can use while I'm like streaming, so I just downloaded a bunch of them and they've been like playing around 
in the background of the stream. I dislike working without music and I cannot play any of my music because I'm gonna get uh, uh, those strikes from YouTube where like they are telling me you are stealing music, which is ridiculous, but whatever. So let's build and put in 10 of these. Um, ah, support. Or support a one. Again, ten of these guys. Ready? Cool. And then once, since we already have these, let's add in the support for the second floor as well. For that one, it's gonna be support teams. Uh, it's not gonna be my best. Make sure that they're all attached together. And I'm not climbing, climbing up the entire scene. Like that. And what we can do here is take this thing on high the force. And move it up until it gets to the position we need it to be. And copy one and such. It's actually right on the end of this one. And hide the what is this? The force the roof. Alright, so if you're gonna be roof, roof, you Layer. Oof. Hide it. And the great thing about this is that since it's uh, all one, just we can select the one that we don't need, delete those, and the ones that are left over, just select them all from one side, and they're the right size. Just move them in. Then not for through the through the. Uh, Support beams for the outside, move them inwards, and boom. We have some support for this guy as well. And I'm actually right. They're starting correctly here. But I think that somewhere down need to be moved slightly nudged inwards. This is going to be visible on the inside, so we might want to get this thing right. There we go. Alright, another thing that I will probably have to uh, address is the corners here are probably going to have something that's going to be holding these guys together. Because it's not just like this and being held with nails. It's probably going to be some structure to it. So let me see. Holy crap. I just saw this image. So on the overhead, they've placed the net so the child can play around and basically fly. I see no scenario in which this doesn't go wrong. I mean, I can just imagine this. There is a net in your house. You've been out partying, you get home, you're drunk, you get up, and somehow you try to be a child and you fall through and you hurt yourself. No. Oh, wow. Okay. No. No. Uh, Uh, Alright, so this is what I had in mind. So as you can see, we have some support around these guys. 
it's either that or they have been clamped from both sides, but we don't have that support, so we're gonna have to use something like this. Which might be a nice addition to add in. Put this in the back. I found it. something like this then. So like this and this, isolate them both. And now I'm gonna create one more line from both. What? What? Which, which one is this thing? It's going to be the default one. Okay, so line going from here to Here, basically, uh, rendering make it so it's uh, rectangular with 15 by 15, which is the size that we had in the previous one. And this line can go like this, and here can be. If you just want to have a very, very small opening on that side. and center it. There. And I actually want to make this thing a bit smaller, so I'm going to edit poly and move this thing on the Y for, what is it, like two centimeters? Yeah. And Get this thing negative two centimeters like that. Oh. Okay. But before I just do that, let me go in and move this thing up so it's actually going inside the beam. So when I cut it, I don't get any uh, unwanted geometry. So, and there is fine now. it ever so slightly now try and get this thing to be centered all right cool uh, come to think of it I probably should have done this at the beginning just create one of these connectors and then copy it around but whatever it's already done now so yeah Okay, so I go and slice plane, slice it up a tiny bit above where it's going in. So it slice, it will slice, and in here slice it one more time, and it's going inside a bit. Slice. Select those two, delete. Make that little guy over there as well. Cap that thing, cap oh. Do that thing. Cap this. And honestly, I can leave that thing uh, open because it's gonna be inside. There's no need to uh, give it any geometry. So paste another chamfer to it now I know for a fact that I did not do this by a, an amount but I, like an idiot I did it by hand which means that now I'm gonna have to go in and manually fix all this That's 
time I should have done this in a different manner, but it's whatever now. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, these guys are not needed here. So two, three, and four. No longer need it. Alright, isolate and attach all of these together. And the isolation. All right, we have this thing fine. Go and center to object. Affect pivot only and get pivot to pivot X, Y, and Z. And now we go and mirror this thing on this side. We copy. Okay, so select both of those. So call these uh, small support. this thing and we have the roof as well on this side let's oh yeah we have it on both sides all right so let's add in the most prominent thing and that is the wall for the front and the back let me just quickly check out and see this thing and here is the porch and the second floor balcony. So there's an actual balcony above the porch. Oh no, there isn't. This is actually inwards. So the last uh, place one. How many of these is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so the twelve. So this here is the last in between these guys. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why am I missing one? Eleven. Ah, of course. I'm missing uh, this one in here because this one is supposed to actually hold up the uh, balcony here. Interesting. All right, so let's add in one more of these guys. Then. Uh, clone to what is ah, so pointing object now. There and mirror one more over there. What is this called? This is called the beam. So let's call this balcony beam. A one, actually not. I don't get all one. Just not touch both of them. Like that. So I'm going to get this thing to move over here. And this 
these guys to snap to that side, so now I know everything is covered. Like that. This is not a bad thing to have, but a good question here is, is this top floor actually covered with the roof? It might be. It should be. It probably, should, probably is. Alright, alright. No issues. And that means that this thing here is covered. This is going to be the balcony in here. So let's add in that length in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it like this. Screw this outwards instead of just screwing like that. And now move the extrusion outwards. That way I know exactly where my balcony is supposed to uh, stop or end. And where my wall should start. Oh. And if I don't like how this thing uh, ends up looking in the end, all we can do is we can play around with the idea that was uh, placed in here and reuse some of the stuff that we created in the previous uh, stream. Or not the previous stream, but the actual container house that we started. That's fine. Alright, so on this side, yeah, there's just one big. There, it's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead now and create the front for the house and the back. And um, just drop in the holes for the balcony uh, doors and the entrance doors. So, open up some of the stuff. Support beams. Hide force and you guys are supporting these as well all right now let me go ahead and do a simple plane for this go you know, from here all the way up there and Always and always collapse these two. Now, just so I know exactly where this thing is, and open up my support beams. And this is what I'm working on at the moment. Flip around. remember uh, all of these will have actual geometry for planks and the easiest way to do that in geometry is with the floor generator and the floor generator works the best when it has uh, when it has uh, some flat surface so let's, let's just test it out floor generator let's see everything works just it should we want this thing to be I'll just quickly these guys are made for the exterior. Alright, so a chimney. 
that's a good addition to add. Also, this is what I had in mind. This is how I think that uh, this thing can be. Hello. 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 This is exactly what we have at the moment, honestly. We have this thing overhanging. We have this. This is the one that we're making, honestly. Here it is. Yes, this is it. This is the entrance, the backside. It even has the same balcony as ours. It has the front, it has the lounge, the top. This is the house that we're building. Cool. And this is an A-frame house from the 1960s. Damn. Let me check this thing. What the hell is this? It's flicker. Uh, I don't want to learn anything. Just want to see the image. Save this thing. Ah, uh, whatever. Why won't you just let me? I hate when they do this. Crap. Here, what sort of a uh... hmm, interesting? All right, work for that. We can also have some uh, wide open areas like this, or like this. I actually like the color on this thing. Alright, so the planks are going across horizontally, so it should be a problem. So everything that we have here, go down to the zero. And we have this thing at the front. We just need to decide what sort of a <coughs> what sort of a holes we're gonna have for the doors, windows, so we'll add them, but yeah on the floors. Okay. And the width is probably smaller. Some fives. Let's go. That would work for us, definitely. Alright, delete that thing. Uh, put one more of these guys on uh, the front, so mirror it on the Y. Copy. Right. So rear wall. All this front wall. can honestly say that this is going to be an interesting project. It's not going to be a long project, but it's going to be interesting. Especially because, come to think of it, 
this can be made to be very modular <laughs> and bring it into Unreal is really not going to be that hard to be easy. So I'm even getting ideas now. That's cool. All right, that's fine. And just so I have something to like base it on, I'm going to go in here. Where's my money? Where's my dummy? Tall. That's the size of a of human. So we will go group, group, human. And put this little bit in there because. Please, I have some ideas to how big this thing is going to be. No, you're not. You need that black. No. You need a different color than it is. Color. No. So, I guess you're going to be a very yellowish color. Alright, so now at least I know how big a human should be in with respect to this house. So if we put this thing in here, so one in five, we can be just enough to be cozy. Now, what about the second floor? Can we get up here, which one do we have? Plenty. And all right, we have that thing done as well. So, front, back, color. Actually, you can be a lighter color or dark color. Yeah. And we turn on the roof, and we get this thing in. So now what we need to do is decide what sort of uh, front we want to have for this uh, place, what sort of uh, balcony, what sort of a porch, and stuff like that. That's all design. Oh yes, another thing that I'm missing in here there's one more holder for these guys. So let me just go do something like this. Isolate just this. And one of these guys will need to have a middle. So I'm gonna make it 30 by 30. And make it so it goes center to center on uh, no X, no Z. This thing is in the middle, we 
which means we can put it in here like this. We can go in here and make it so it's 25, 25, lower, 20. Yeah, 20 should work. And I can probably put this thing on the zero. It's on the ground, and as such, I can add in some divisions in here. That thing, that thing. this thing, move this thing upwards. Oh wow! Okay, I haven't seen the chat in a while. So uh, hello to everybody. Uh, and yes, we do have a new project today, something to break up the whole bar design thing. So we're building up a house, actually we're building up a cabin. So we build up, bridge this thing up, no drop here, chamfer on this side would be probably 0.2, like that. I hate when it does this. Fine, we'll deal with that chamfer as well. 0.5. We are building something like this. So an A-frame house. Now put it. Go and add in one connect like this. And then when I slide it, I want to slide it upwards to about there. Now make it planar so it's not screwing up anything like that. And copy it around like that, like so. Again, this side and this side. It's fine, the top is fine. No more issues. So, if I turn on Turbo Smooth, other than the fact that I have one huge uh, polygon in here, there's no more problems, which is nice. Turn on Turbo Smooth, it's fine. Okay, so these holders can be. Put everywhere here. So ground hold this ground support. Ground support. Put it in the support. There we go. And now just Make it so you have 10 versions of this. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Fine and fine. The last one though. It turns out not all of them are fine, but whatever. We can live with that. Bye, Leo. Have fun. All right. Do a few more small tweaks like this. So we have the support for the ground, we have the support for the beams. Oh, Leo, you are the guy with the, uh, the houses for name. Yeah. 
See, it's so easy when you uh, when you name yourself Leo like this. I can read your uh, name. All right, so this is fine. We got that. I'm not still set on what sort of a front we want to have or what sort of a back door we want to have. I'm probably going to put something here with molded glass to um, basically break this thing up. Probably going to be something different. Yeah, this is uh, this is not a bad way to start off a new stream. Majority of the work has already been done. So on this thing, once we're actually finished with everything in, hell, this this can be easy to be uh, prepared for Unreal, and it can even be rendered here. There's not a lot of things, so yeah, this can be. This can be. This will be an interesting project, but hell. Today we got to the point where we basically started off with an idea and at the end of this stream this is where we are standing we have the frame for the house we have the uh, support beams we have uh, the layout for the house and pretty much we are ready to start uh, putting stuff in on the next stream so if you're watching this on YouTube or even if you are in the chat live now how many people are there live now? 35. Go. Cool. So to all of you guys that are uh, watching this live and you would like to be here with me next week, I have a sort of a homework for you guys. Or, nah, I'm not going to call it homework because it implies for you to, uh, to work all about it. Uh, I have a request for you guys. I want you to tell me what kind of uh, interior would you like to see here? Like, from what we have, we can go one of two things. We can either go uh, super mo modernistic, but I, I'm not a big fan of that thing, or we can go with that uh, homey feel with uh, warmth that you would get from the wood section. So, you guys decide what sort of an interior you would like to have inside, what sort of uh, uh, assets you would like to have uh, me create for this thing. Hell, it can be even something that maybe you wanted to uh, see in here. So pretty much whatever ideas you guys have for this stream that you would like to see in the next stream, just go go over on the Discord channel, drop into the this, uh, streaming related and post it in here. Whatever you post, I will answer, I will see to it, and like from this uh, stream, the man of the match, or the woman in the match was Sarah. Sarah or Lil Yashi gave us all of the, uh, all of the ideas to, to, uh, to basically where we are, and Nice Block had some good ideas as well, like some of the stuff uh, you guys posted here was amazing about the uh, environment for this thing what I had in mind was something like this like a forest but I actually do enjoy uh, this uh, image as well you have that look with the pond and the forest in the background and the rocks and everything so you might go with something like this as well we'll see how this thing develops but everything you have or everything you would like to see in the stream drop it in the discord and i will do my best to try and uh, recreate it so that would be it for today because we are coming up to like two hours of stream so far and i really don't like to go over those two hours so for today i would like to thank everybody that pitched in with their ideas I would like to uh, say a thank you to everybody that was with me today. And if you liked the stream, don't forget to actually click that like button on the YouTube channel because it really does help a lot. Uh, I don't just say that thing uh, for nothing at the end of every video, but hey, YouTube likes when people comment on stuff. They really, really like it when people leave their links or their likes. 
and it will promote this video to more people so more people will see it and hence it will reach out to more people and i will be happy and they will be happy and everybody will be happy so that would be it for today if anybody's got any questions now is the right time to ask them if not well, well we had some fun today come on question time anybody has any I guess the only question was bye. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye, uh, everybody. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next stream. Bye-bye.